Good day fellas, I hope you are ready for your extra daily dose of skill and today we are going to do unforgivable things, skill what you are going to do. We are going to play with a cover 2 with a long PP, not a derp gun. And you know what? It is actually quite valuable option. Also, I want to quickly mention index page, fellas. Cover 2 is rated as a good tank and cover 2 air is rated as a um, playable tank for one particular reason because it's not making that much credits and it's not worth that much as a tank. And you know the drill and the index page equipment setup. Um, and obviously field modifications and so on so on you know what you can find there um, also speaking about the cover 2 long pp it can be a very valuable option speaking about marking the tank because rng is very very unforgiven for a tanks um who has the long derp guns right or i suppose to say for a tanks who has a do derp guns right rng can be extremely unforgiven uh, and tanks like this night it can be even better option for you to mark it with um with a more accurate gun overall right um, and I know the very first shot we missed with this tank, but it doesn't really matter, fellas. This is only the very first shot, and believe me, we can make this tank work, and we will try to make this tank work. So, first things first, I really want to spot enemies who are playing, uh, who are playing over there, right? And I will try to work my ass off in order to do so. And I believe everything should work very, very well. In this kind of situation, maybe Derp Gun could be even better option honestly because probably we would one shot this guy and it would be a game over for him but it's okay fellas relax take it easy and this guy decided to make a bit of pressure like this that's fine look we have all time in the world of tanks and all we need to do we need to wait until enemies are going to make a mistake and until they are going to get spotted and for example with a derp gun to hit pixel shot like this it is not so simple fellas it is not that easy and it is not simple whatsoever meanwhile our main goal is to punish this P43 every single time whenever he is making one or another stupidity. And believe me, stupidity he makes. This is a very good stuff, fellas. So, going back to the same bush once again, and we are doing the same stuff. We are just waiting until he is going to make a mistake. Trying to go for a blind shot like so. Unfortunately, we are not hitting him, but it is completely fine. And luckily for us, we are not getting spotted, which is amazing. So... What do we want to do now? We want to get a bit involved in this situation, right? I think we can try to make a bit of pressure for a people who are playing here, especially whenever we have plenty of the snipers in the enemy side of the map. And this is looking pretty good. Meanwhile, even though... I know fellas, I know enemy artists can be annoying. Even though enemy artists are going to try to be the living crap out of us, this is not looking that horrible as you might think it is. It is truly not that horrible. Once again, another shot by the enemy art. Yikes. I am feeling like it is Armageddon, my friends. And to be fair with you, it doesn't really matter what kind of gun we would use in this situation. This is just um, two uh, broken artists in a way bursting us once in 10 seconds or once in 8 seconds. It doesn't really matter what we would do. We would still take one for the team. But once again, we are not going to give up. In fact, we are going uh, to be brave and we are brave, fellas. We need to try to face hug this rock here and hopefully fellas it will work just fine for us meanwhile i don't really think i should be spotted at this point and i want to eliminate this p43 bis from the game p43 bis is dead that's good and once again that uh, that for way showing the dominance over us don't you think so um look at those long range shots i don't really think it is working uh, that badly for us fellas i think lo those long range shots in fact we are hitting those long range shots just because we are using this long gun because if not this long gun good luck hitting uh, the 500 um 
uh, good luck hitting 500 meters uh, range shots with a derp gun. Plus on top of that, speaking about the penetration, we are not struggling whatsoever, right? Because this gun can work equally as fine. And once again, if someone is struggling about marking this tank with a derp gun, I would highly, I repeat, highly recommend to try to use this gun. You will thank me later whenever you are going to mark this tank, believe me. It can work just fine. You see, all and all, Cover 2 as a tank, it is kind of... Uh, weaker version of the T-150. I know it sounds quite weird, but it is the case. Cover 2 is weaker version of the T-150 because T-150 has uh, more armor um, and T-150 overall is a stronger tank. But looking into the gun, we have 167 millimeters of penetration with a standard ammunition, which is completely fine. With a gold, we have 220 millimeters of penetration. And say whatever you want, even against the tier a tanks it is not that horrible and you can actually make it work so that's good stuff unfortunately for us speaking about this game we did not manage to find an easy targets to uh, farm or easy stuff to do overall uh, it was quite a hard battle if you would ask me and in the same time we are finishing the game only with 1.3 thousand damage and 800 assist uh, and 80 assisting damage even though we kind of went in front to spot but once again don't be tricked Everything is completely fine and other game is going to be so much better. So without further ado, you know what? I have a feeling we should be able to kill this Cromwell if the Cromwell would try to turn like this. You know what? Let's wait for it. I believe, fellas, we are going to have absolutely amazing snapshot. Well, not snapshot, but maybe blind shot, I suppose to say. Wait for it. Wait for it, wait for it, Cromwell is flanking our Arta and Cromwell is running like this and we are killing him now. That was good try, fellas. That was a good try. Okay, let's teleport into the end of this game. Let go. You know what, fellas? Uh, jokes on that Cromwell in the end of the day, we got him running through the other side of the map, so we managed to snipe him. Anyways. In the end of the day, we have 1.8 thousand damage and 80 assisting damage, which is not a horrible score, um, even though it could work just tiny touch better. Um, we have we are second by the damage, we are second by experience, we made 17 thousand profits and it is completely fine. Let's go for round number two and let's hope for the best. And we are back with uh, quite a bad news, I would say. Uh, instantly we are loading gold ammunition for obvious reasons because we are fighting against the tier 8s in the ENSK map. Usually ENSK map is taking like 4 minute stops. Uh, so we need to be somehow involved and in the same time um, we are a bottom tier heavy tank. This is like one of the worst case scenarios you could have. And in fact in this battle I am quite happy we are having this gun over derp gun. Even though with a derp gun we would be able to one shot someone right anyways let's see what we can do we are taking a typical bush over there and we are trying to punish enemy tiger one just like so beautiful shot into the tiger one oi 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 borat isu tiger one arta yopterai yes this is not what you want to see um uh, Apart one thing, ISU did not manage to penetrate us. So at least that's something. Not the start um, which we would be proud of, okay? Not the start which we want to have for obvious reasons. But at this point, we cannot do anything about this. We need to accept our responsibility and we will need to do as much as we can do um, playing passively. Because this is the start which we have. Uh, skill, would you feel better with a derp gun? Well, with a derp gun we would probably penetrate the Tiger 1 into the side, right? If obviously RNG would be in our side. Other than that, I would feel 
probably literally the same um literally the same with this tank anyways enemy art is definitely oh yo 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 enemy art is definitely eliminated from the game that's good and we found the tourist cover one s oh that's absolutely amazing more tourists for us pretty please very good fellas very good tourist cover one s thank you very much for existing and i appreciate you man i appreciate you Whew. I thought this game is going to be completely pile of kaku, but luckily we found the tourist with his backpack. We sold kebab for him for 30 euros and I am feeling so much better after this. Speaking about kebab for a 30 euros, what do you think could we hit this Panther M10 like this? If this Panther M10 would be involved, obviously we would be able to smack him, but I don't really think he is going to be involved at this point. Meanwhile, our double penetrator is saying hello for enemies and he may double penetration shot which is hashtag never lucky but that's rng for you and unfortunately nothing what you can change about this at this point we are still waiting until someone will arrive here and we are snapping mr borat in the face we are three minutes into this battle and it is still not game over it is quite surprising situation considering uh, um how this map is looking like right and we don't really have prokurovka we don't really have kempinovka we have ensk and many of you know ensk is the map from where uh, well Let's be kind for Ensk map. We are, you are not going to have a very long battles, okay? And I am being extremely polite here. Meanwhile, the Tiger 1 is about to get slaughtered by us. At least that's what I hope so. I am waiting until he is going to turn and we are smacking him. Although... Um, we got slaughtered by the IS-3 who made quite a bit of pressure. Once again, Ensk as a map, the start was extremely bad for us, which is worth to highlight, and it was very, very sad thing. It doesn't matter even though if I would react properly for this IS-3, uh, it should be uh, either way game over. Let's see, will our team will win the game or not? Uh, let's teleport into the scoreboard, and we are back. Unfortunately, we are not winning this game, but nothing what we can change there. So what do we have? We have 1.6 thousand damage, 300 assisting damage, and funny fact, for being a bottom tier to be second on the damage in the first by experience, I would say it was a good go. All in all, we made 11,000 credits, and it was completely fine considering how bad things could go for us. Let's go for around number three. And we are back with around number three. Okay, looks like this is uh, looking so much better than the previous battle. We have Lakeville and counter battle against the tier seven. So at least it is not getting farmed by the tier eights, right? Although our Soviet still did a great job in the previous battle. And once again, this gun is your choice, right? Uh, you can go with a derp gun and you can do well. And especially if you are playing for Mark of Excellency and you are getting frustrated um, with a derp gun, you are using this gun. In fact, in Russian server and when I was playing with this tank, uh, if I'm not mistaken, I already did uh, cover two. I was using the long PP because derp gun was simply unreliable. And one battle you are doing 4,000 and in three negative games you are doing 200 just because you cannot penetrate Kaku and their NG is against you which is very very important thing to highlight if you would ask me so how we are going to play this game we are going to take this broken position over there because it is literally the best position to play uh, the thing is you have an extremely i repeat extremely nice angles and knocking this tree just like so you are able to hide even heavy tank in this position and all we need to do we need to aim our shots fully and we are going to punish every single gentleman playing here is it cromwell or is it t150 or is it is it doesn't really matter if they are going to make some pressure in front we are going to be able to smack them obviously what we need to keep in mind we need to keep in mind there is a ferrari who is sitting here right so if ferrari would peek sideways he would be able to spot us and this is very important thing to say speaking about important things to say aim for t150 and simply smack t150 in the face if he is going to do 
something silly, right? Once again, he's thinking about peeking, and I think we had a pixel from where we could hit him here, right? Once again, everything is fine. We have all time in the world of tanks. And speaking about having all time in the world of tanks, open your eyes and you can see you can hit people who are trying to join like so, right? Once again, all we need to do... We need to try. Uh, try we need to try to punish enemies whenever they are going to do silly goose decision. Beautiful peak from the T150. Obviously not for his play, but for our score, right? And this is what we need to do now. Considering if we would play with a derp gun, uh, we could penetrate him maybe with a derp gun for 700 uh, um, alpha damage. But once again, it is could be, would be, maybe, I don't know, would I be able to, blah, 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 blah. You get the point what I'm saying. It is not clear. So sometimes it is so much better uh, to take the, to take something, um, small in your hand instead of looking for a beer in the middle of the forest don't you think so so look at this everything is looking all right and plus on top of that keep this in mind i'm not spamming the full gold yet eventually i am going to load the gold ammunition and whenever i will load the gold ammunition we should be able to shred uh, those tanks like hot knife through the butter and in fact at this point we have the gold loaded so look at this beauty fellas and cup boom like nothing minus 300 damage for the t150 which is not very enjoyable for him obviously we are hitting the is kaboom another 300 in the face and this is what we want to see this is how we want to play this battle right this is where cover 2 um, is shining with this gun and once again uh, keep this in mind t150 is more powerful tank but even though it is way more powerful tank, remember you have an option to uh, play with mini T150 Aka cover 2 with this gun. And it works just fine. All you need to do, you need to uh, aim your shots and you are going to be completely Gucci fellas. Now, speaking about the Gucci, I believe I don't really need to say enemies do not really have a chance to win this game. And all I need to back for, all I need to expect, I need to expect for our teams team to stop capping the base this would be absolutely amazing and this would be very very good but you know a lot of things are depending on our team because if our team will say nope i'm capping the base that means our team is capping the base and that's it at this point i am going to leave the cap circle like this and i will try to go next to the rock in order to get a bit of the assisting damage for obvious reasons right Ty-58 is spotted sideways, I don't really care about him that much, but what I care about, I care about Ikea. Ikea is getting spotted, so we should be able to do some damage, and we should be able to spot a bit more, right? Which is very, very important thing to say. Um, once again, relax, take it easy, we have all time in the world of tanks, and all we need to do, we need to wait until this Ikea will get spotted. At this point, I am hoping our Vaza will go in front and he will try to spot him. But you know, a lot of things are depending on how brave our Vaza is. Meanwhile, our team is about to capture the base, which is not ideal option for us, but this is what we have. And yeah, the game where we actually have a potential to uh, do so much more than 1.8 thousand, we are getting slaughtered like so. Well, slaughtered maybe is not the right word. Uh, our team simply decided to cap the base and we can't save this. Anyways. Speaking about the expectation values for this tank, um, expectation values is 1.7 thousand to get uh, um, mark of excellence, right? At least at the time whenever I am recording the video and looks like it's not fluctuating that much. So in the end of the day, looking into our score, I think we just played for a third mark of excellence level. Anyways, 1.8 thousand damage, 200 assisting damage. We are first by experience, first by the damage. We broke even. In fact, we we made 14,000 credits and all and all our performance is 1.7 thousand damage and 200 assisting damage. So what we have done here fellas, we played for just a bit more than third mark of excellence level and in the same time what is very important thing to say 
of how the things went for us. We played pretty consistently. Uh, and with a derp gun, it is not the case. Look at this performance. 1.8 thousand. After that, we had pretty much 2,000. And then we had 2,000 once again. Consistency was over the roof. And for Mark of Excellence, this is what you need to do. So, fellas, thank you very much for watching. I hope you had a great time. And I hope you enjoyed yourself. And see you very, very soon. Skill is out for today. Peace.